What up, people? Ice Cube here. Today, I'm just showcasing, I guess, the workflow I made for consistent characters with AI. This is a comfy UI workflow. Um, you'll be able to get a similar character sheet once you're done. Uh, this was made using SDXL, but there's a version for SD 1.5. Um, there's a version for people that have a low VRAM, and there's a version for Flux. So everybody should be able to run that to some extent. So yeah, let's get started with the workflow. Okay, this is the workflow. This is the SD one point uh, SD Excel version. Um, the blue notes are basically telling you what you need to do. The pink notes are telling you what the part does basically. Okay, here character name. Just want to name your character. Uh, let's call her Bella. Doesn't even matter. Um, checkpoint. For this example, I'm using Juggernaut, but you can use whatever SDXL checkpoint you want to create your character. If you already have a character, you can upload it here and you put this to one. If you want to use a character creator uh, yellow here, you leave it at two. Super simple. Uh, you want to deactivate everything after five, after four, actually. As you can see, it's a pretty extensive workflow, so, um, yeah. This shit is long as fuck, damn. Anyways, um, so yeah, so you want to deactivate everything after the face-up scale until you have a character that you like and you want to keep, basically, okay? so. Here, I'll just run it. I already have a seed. Let me randomize it so I can get a new character. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Okay, we have a new character here. This is removing the background. This crops the face. And this is an upscaler, so it's going to upscale the face. As you can see, the face looks better now. Yeah, definitely. Okay, let's say I like that face. I can activate the multi view. This is bugged. I don't know if it's going to be bugged for you, but it's bugged for me. Um, whatever, I guess. And then I just do it. Oh, I messed up. Okay. So here you need to lock your seed if you don't want it to repeat every time, every time you press Q. So it's just going to go through again, but shouldn't be too long. And then it's going to go directly into this one. And this is the multi view. So it's going to do a view from the front profile, the back and the side. And we just wait for that to be done. Here it's loading the pipeline component and we are started. Okay, it's about 20 seconds here. For the low VRAM version, there's a, you can do that, that part online because that's the part that's requiring a lot of VRAM. Um, if you have under 12, you're probably gonna wanna go online. Okay, this made uh, the turnaround view. Let's say I'm happy with that. You can activate the next part with the grid up scale. Only thing you need to do is press Q. That's it. You really don't need to do anything else. So it's going to the next step. Um, it's a case sampler, just an upscaler. Just bringing out the details from uh, the grid we just made on the left. This is 20 steps. You can play around with the amount of steps and all that stuff. I just put whatever works, but you can play around with those. Should not break the workflow. Okay, this upscaled it. Not sure it's better, but doesn't really matter because the next part is another upscaler. Okay. You just queue it. And this is going to run a, a tile upscaled. So it's going to make 12 tiles and just wait for, for the task to be done. This takes about a minute. We are at 
12 now. This took exactly one minute. You have a 4090, so it's probably going to be longer if you don't have a 4090, but yeah. Here is taking every face that we have here and upscaling it to look better. Um, we're going to wait. This is the last one, if I'm not wrong. No, there's another one. Okay, so we took the faces here, upscaled them, and now we have those faces that look way better. Okay, now once we have that, we can just queue it again. It's going to go to the next step, which is batching a lot of stuff. And this is upscaling um, some of the images for the next step here. Okay. So as we can see here, if we compare, we can see that this image is way lower quality than this image, right? Obviously. Here, the only thing we need to do, we see 13 here. If you want to put 13 here. And then you cue it again. Cue it again. And it's going to do the faces on automatically. Um, you can play around with these settings to get the emotion you want. And the rest is going to be done automatically. So this is your character sheet. You have your emotions at the end. You have uh, the T pose, the turnaround view. And then you have those who are or just like different um a different way i guess to see um the character sheet this is the workflow from start to finish pretty simple the only thing you really need to do is put your prompt here and activate once you're satisfied with the last step um yeah yeah, if you have any questions or anything like that, I'm going to create a Discord. You, can be, you guys can join. Um, there's going to be every version of the workflow there as well. Um, yeah, that, that's about it for the workflow. And this is what you're getting at the end. It's pretty cool. Um, then you have a little color palette here. Um, I'm probably going to go over how to do the low VRAM version because it's a little bit more complicated. So, yeah, just tune into that. Okay, so we just loaded up the low VRAM version of the workflow. This one is using SD 1.5. This is the rev animated with a checkpoint. Here, you put the name of your character. Uh, same thing as the other one. If you already have a character, you upload it here. You put this to one. If you don't have one, leave it at two. Then you go here. Only thing you need to do is describe your character. I'm going to leave it at that and just run it. So, Q. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, need to reset the seed so we can get a new image. Okay, well, I don't like that, so let me redo it. This is fine. Okay, so we run that through uh, the face upscaler. As you can see, image, the face is way better now. Then for the next step, what we need to do is go to that website. This website is here, by the way. So you already have the link. It's going to be in the workflow. Just go to that website. Well, first of all, you copy that. Copy the image with no background. Then you come here on the website. You paste the new image. And you press run. Okay. This is going to give you the turnaround view of. Um, your character, this is the one I did before, but it's the same uh, logic 
I guess uh, once it's done you want to download every image and name them from 1 to 6 because you're going to have 6 images is it done yet? yes it is, ok so here press that save the image as delete all those, those are the previous ones and you want to make sure that there's nothing else in that folder ok that's going to be number 2 going to be number 3 it's going to be number 12 5 and 6 ok once you did that just put the, the link to the folder you just downloaded the images to then you, you refresh it and you have your turnaround of your character here and you did it not need to have 14 gigs of RAM to run it okay so once this is done let me just lock in my seed here I don't want it to reset once this is done we just activate the grid upscale and we run it okay so it made the grid then it's doing the upscaling of um of the grid we just made right super easy so far nothing too hard or complicated only thing you you have to do is put in your prompt download your image and go to that website to do the multi-view thing this is the upscale version as you can see the face is way better every face is better yeah okay this is done activate the next step and queue it up that's the only thing you need to do and it's gonna upscale like the other version now we just wait for it to be done and then we enjoy okay now this got upscaled even further now we're taking the faces doing the same thing upscaling the faces and we're gonna have all the faces show up here okay that's good and we just queue it one last time we're gonna go here we're gonna do the batching and all that stuff nothing to do for you here just wait for this to be done and then the rest is gonna just gonna go through by itself waiting 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 wait they don't love you like they love you uh -huh. okay finally finally load it up um you won't to choose the right number for the face so here this is a 13 13 which one is better well, I think this one might be better actually um, but doesn't matter this is just an example and then we have our character sheet using that face and that upscale those emotions we have a little color palette here and this is it for the low vm workflow uh, you should not need to go above 12 gigs to run this because the artist part the multi-view thing is being done online with the uh, little cloud gpu well yeah that's pretty much it um i can do a video on how to install it and all that shit if you guys uh, have difficulty with that um but yeah that that that's it for me see you guys peace